Hey guys, welcome back to Zach Blog. So today we're going to look at installing AstroPrint on a Raspberry Pi. I've got here a Raspberry Pi 1 B+. This should work on any of the models of Raspberry Pi. Uh, so what we're going to need is obviously the Raspberry Pi. We're going to need a micro SD, at least 4 gigabytes. I'd recommend an 8 gig, or larger if you've got it. Um, we're going to need some kind of USB cable to connect to your printer. And optionally, you can use a webcam to view your prints as they go. Also, we're going to need network. You can use Wi-Fi, or I've got here an Ethernet cable connected to my router. So, most of this is done on the computer, so let's go over there. Okay, guys, so over here at the computer, we're going to need to download a couple programs here. First of all, we're going to need to download Putty and Win32 Disk Imager. So we're going to open up Google and just Google all one word Win32 Disk Imager. And it's going to be your first result here from SourceForge. Just double check the URL that it's sourceforge.net projects Win32 Disk Imager. So you're going to go down here and download the unnamed SQL here. So once you've downloaded that, then we're going to get PuTTY. PuTTY is just an SSH program. It's going to let you talk to your Raspberry Pi without having to connect it to a monitor or have a keyboard and mouse on it. So you're going to go, any of these first three results is fine. So we can just go to the first one here. And go to your download. And you're going to want to get the one at the top here. So once you've got those two programs, we're going to open up the browser again. And we're going to go to astroprint.com slash downloads. Now down at the bottom here, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 1 and 2. So right now, at the time of this video, we're at 0 0.8, um, 3 in parenthesis. Anyway, you're going to download that zip file. Yes, I'm going to actually download it, so we'll be back when it's done downloading. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, I'm just going to do this on my desktop. We're going to extract all, and extract. So now that's going to extract to a folder on the desktop. So I'm going to keep everything in a little square up here for you guys. So now that that's all extracted, and the folder is open, you'll see we have an Astrobox RPI image. So we're going to open Win32 Disk Imager. Yes. Now you'll see it's a very basic little box, but you need to be careful with this program. It seems as though the newer version doesn't let you select your hard drive but you may not have the newest version and for some reason it may allow you to select your hard drive in here so make sure this says the name of the drive you want to use in this case I have an SD card in drive D and this is uh, this says drive D so we're gonna click on the little folder here and I saved it to my desktop in the Astro Box folder. We're going to select that image. Pretty sure I could have also just dragged it. Nope. So we're going to select that image. Make sure it's the correct image. And make sure again that it's going to the right drive, drive D which is my SD card, and click write. Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Just 
make sure that says the drive you really want to write over. So this is going to take quite a while. It's got to write this entire file. It's a 3 gig file, so we'll be back when this is done. Okay, so now that that's on the SD card, I'm going to just take the SD card, put it in here, and then we're going to plug everything in. So I've got a webcam, I've got the 3 printer, I've got my network, And we need power for the Raspberry Pi. Now we'll let that boot up. Actually, while well, that boots up. So there's many ways to find out the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. The way I use is an Android app called Fing, F-I-N-G. And I just hit refresh. Now that the Raspberry Pi is booted up, we can see, might be able to see, this one here is Raspberry Pi Astrobox. So that's going to be our IP address. Our local address, anyway. Okay, so back at the computer here. We're going to open up Putty, put in that IP address, and hit enter. Log in as Pi. Password is Raspberry. It's still the default username and password. And since this is still technically a version of Raspbian, we're going to want to run sudo raspy config. First thing you want to do is expand the file system, as always. And that should be it. You can change user password if you'd like to, all that stuff. All I'm going to do is expand the file system, hit reboot. This is going to lose a connection. Okay, so once you've got your Raspberry Pi booted up, then you can go to your browser and go to the IP address you got from your Raspberry Pi. So you'll be greeted with this screen here. Begin setup. You're going to want to name your Astrobox or your Raspberry Pi, and that's going to set up your Wi Fi and hotspot and all that. Uh, you can also go to a local URL, wanhow.local, uh, from any computer in your house if you don't want to remember the IP address. I'll click next. So now connected to the internet, click next. Now you're going to want to sign into an account. So once you've signed in, you get to this screen, plug your printer's USB in the Astrobox, and click continue when done. So hit continue, so it's plugged in. Now on my printer, the WANHOW, The baud rate is 115200. The G code is Marlin firmware, so I'm going to hit connect, and it's going to connect to my printer. So now I'm going to start printing. Now it opens up your control panel, and you can go file uploader, and I've already got a bender head prepared for this upload and it opens up the slicer here. So in the slicer you can add a printer 
with the Wayne House already here. You can add a material. PLA is already here. And you can choose your print quality. You've got draft, normal, or best. And you can also choose a custom uh, slicing profile. We're just going to go with the normal and standard slicing profiles. So I'm going to hit slice, generating, exporting, storing, ready. So now we can see our file is uploaded. We're going to go back to our dashboard. We're going to go to monitor, camera controls, launch the WAN how, back to file manager, Click on that one, and click print. Now it's going to preheat. Now here you got a preview of your model. Or you can hit this little camera button to take a quick picture if you have a camera connected. So you can see my WAN house just heating up, hasn't done anything yet. You can also set this to take a picture automatically on each layer. Every minute, every two minutes, every five minutes, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes. So this is going to heat up and it's going to start printing. Let's take a look at this bender. This thing turned out awesome. It's 0.2 layer height, 0.3 initial layer height, 50 millimeters a second speed. This is black hatchbox PLA. Handled the overhangs really nicely. Another one in between the eyes there. Did really nicely. 
Alright guys, so that's been a quick look at installing AstroPrint on your Raspberry Pi. Since I started recording this video, which was honestly quite a while ago, uh, they've actually updated the AstroPrint, so I stopped recording more footage and wrapped up this video, and I'm actually going to do a separate video after I update my Raspberry Pi, uh, the AstroPrint image, and see what new features are available. So yeah, that's about it. Got an awesome little bender head, and I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, as always, hit like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, uh, click subscribe, it helps me out. I have a Patreon campaign, so if you'd like, you can contribute a, a dollar or more, whatever, to the channel. And that all goes toward stuff like filament, upgrades for the printer. It all goes toward making new content for you guys. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Have a good one, guys.